Jack, for reference, just to recap up, you are a teacher and you know what you do. How many kids did Solomon had we had said? Huh? Three. The gender? Seven, six. Well, Vasana, Vijana, Wangan. Among the three. Don't look at your uh, Uzibie. No, I'm um, uh, many boys. I mean, girls, like now if I, you ask me, how many kids do I have? I will tell you, I have one kid. Definitely you will ask me and then, wakiume ama wakiki and then nagambia wakiki. Nikiuliza Jack, say Jack, I have two kids, two girls, that is. So what do Don't look at Jackson to steal from me. Just look at him. I'm <laughs> intelligence and I was teaching and you were writing. I have repeated, even you are the one who answered that random when you were asking, you said you are an intelligent guy. Because you had stolen from me when I had given you that one. Uh, okay. Did you have done your guest work well? Can you clap for him? <laughs> that is the most uh, devastating story that many people don't believe that Solomon had only three kids, that is uh, two girls. And the one boy, that was Reboam. And uh, no, 700 princesses, 300 concubines. So the known ones were 700. The unknown ones who are hidden somewhere in Kaptembua, London, and uh, Nyaururu, those ones you can go visit anytime that he has. Oh, there were 300 who are the concubines. The, the Bible called them the concubines. Kiswari wa naito mashuria. Kulikuwa wa malikia Malikia Miasaba na Masuria Miatati, 300 concubines. So out of the thousand, Queen Sheba carried her pregnancy, went to Ethiopia. So you cannot count that she was a, she was, she was a concubine, yes. She delivered, lakini yeye akwe sabiwa. So in the recap to that. Now, then we go continuously on the same. Uh, how many wives did David had? That one I taught you very passionately. Thank you. That one, at least now you are. <laughs> uh, that one, uh, you, 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 can, uh, you can move. He married five in Hebron, and then he married another one on his way to Jerusalem, and then he married the last one in Jerusalem, two. That made them total number of eight, which were known, and all of them, they are the children. And one of the unfortunate things um, is that uh, I don't know what happened with this. Uh, concubines, because they were going to royal trick. Do you know Barisheba? They are Solomon. Now Solomon was the last son among the four, because Barisheba had four kids, and among the four kids so Solomon was ever the, the last one and who became the king. I don't know. And after he became a king, of course, he became a disastrous king after that. The appetite of marrying heathens, because the mother the mother, she was a, a wife of the Hittite. And Solomon had the appetite of marrying from outside the territories of God, where God had forbidden. God said, don't marry from outside the Jews. But because the mother, you know, I was telling my yesterday, Kambia Saingine Familia, Kuza Watoto, Mama Mmoja Watoto, Wababa Wenki. Because we had that case yesterday, we were discussing. We can be sometimes it's hurting. Watoto wanasariwa na baba wengi. The definite character, because by blood, they start manifesting the character of their father. If one from the other east and other from the west, so they start controversy. Now we want to go deeper today. Um, and they start more discussing Jack. To say, Genesis has how many chapters? Don't refer to that, it should be in your head because you will be a lecturer soon. And you expect your students, when you ask a question, they answer very quickly. How many chapters does Genesis has? Steve, what a Kwangalia Bible, Yangalia. Jerusha, how many? Chapters does Genesis has? (laughs) 
No, you can also have a nick. Don't tell us about the problem, Jackson. That will be the first question you bring there. You will be appointed the cabinet secretary for economic affairs, international relations. And then you say you are a Christian. Then you are asked that question. If you are a Christian, randomly, well, how many chapters does Genesis has? Because that is a, just a simple question. They believe you are a Christian. Dirangu mbono unapatia wa somi wote. Na wuna kuwa kwa juwa kali. Unapatia wa somi. No, sharing. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> He said yes, uh, the other day that uh, Genesis has over, uh, it has 50, not over, it, is, it has 50. Now, today there's something I want to introduce you shortly, which I want to give you more of homework. We had, in the Bible, <coughs> we have the ordinances, that is what we call the statutes, we have the laws, and we have the commandments. So I want at randomly to tell me, if I ask you how many commandments do we have, even Nicole knows that one, Doug. Eh? <laughs> how many commandments do we have please speak to me how many commandments do we have you'll be surprised that there are not 10 there'll be 12 in the long run but uh, the general understanding is like now the catholic they have 73 bible according to the books we have 66 which is normal but the catholic has 73 which are not been factored in they call the canonical books which you don't know about them. Sometimes they are very evil. That's not the true books. We have now, we have the, the Ten Commandments that are very common. How many statues do we have? These things, is, if we do them now in law, these are dangerous. How many statues do we have in the Bible? And how many laws do we have? The commonly referred of the laws of Moses, which are spread among the five books. We are in a serious Bible study. My sister is a senior counsel because you will be a senior register of, uh, of the judiciary in Kenya where you will be a senior. Now that is a question because you are a Christian. How many statues do you have in the Bible? How many? Uh, I'm the only preacher here, please. Uh, can we have one meeting? Can we have one meeting? Stop having some uh, excesses of meetings which are not valuable. We want to have one meeting. How many statues, Jack? Imagine you're asking, and I'm a pastor, I know the statues. You can, okay. <laughs> okay, substitute them down in the biblical term, call it the ordinances. Ordinances. <laughs> Steve, how many statues do we have? Number one, I want to, to, to understand uh, before I explain what are the statues or the ordinances. Edward, to go to statues in Gapi kwa Biblia, to go to Amuri Kumi, na Maagizo, maana waja niseme kwa kiswahiri, statues ni Maagizo. Kabra Sharia. Tuna Maagizo in Gapi kwa Biblia. Pana wewe ni Mkristo brother angu. Jerusha. You are a Christian. Yeah. Tuko na magizo ngapi kwa Biblia. Steve tuko na sheria ngapi? Wewe tunauliza magizo Steve tuko na sheria ngapi kwa Biblia? <laughs> na wewe ni Mkristo. <laughs> you are coming from the Catholic background, which is a very, a very awkward. Uh, the rest of you own the rosary. Jack, my brother. Jerusha, my brother. Edward. They know. To now, moving up. How many commandments do we have? See who is a brother, did you listen to Dennis? Already, the one being a Tatara Bible study.
that where everybody will be involved. Amen. Because one thing that I discovered that all of us as Christians, by the way, what even the Steve does in court, all of them have been taken from the Bible. Nowhere else. That's why they are called statues. Parliament called them statues. But in the Bible, they are called those are the statues that you shall never leave them forever. Permanently. Because when the Bible says that this statue stands forever, that the sons of Haron shall minister in the altar forever, not for a while. Because that time, walikuwa wana supply, every family ilikuwa na supply firstborn in a peana kwa kanisa. Ndi akwe priest. Lakini mungu wakabalisha, akachukua one tribe ya levi, akasema, hii itakuwa ni tribe ambayo itasaidia kwa ajiri ya kazi ya mungu. Sasa kuna maagizo, kuna sheria na kuna amri. Bagi na kufurahisha yo jack Maagizo Sharia na amri Kira mtu anajua Amri Lakini wengi awajui Maagizo Maagizo actually Inakuwa ni kama it intertwined Because original In the historical background Nasema the original commandments Were only three Do you know you don't know Do you know the broken commandment that Moses broke because it was not even opened. Nobody read. Nobody even knew about it. He broke and went back again for the to to take the another one after he broke the first one. Kunamtoa juu. Sasa maagizo ambao sinetoa ordinances kwa Biblia, they are matched together with the commandments. But Sharia kwa Biblia. Sheria, zile zinatua sheria za amuza, siko 613, write them down. You don't know, you are now enjoying it, I know. Oh, you did say, you know, oh. Oh, ha, 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 oh, you are, so you are. There are 613, 613, and 13 laws about they were broken down they were called they, they were referred as a priesthood instructions but as a matter of fact in your katwa from the 10 commandments for example wakati wa musa anapokuja anaambia watu kwamba muabudini bwana mungu wako kwa nguvu zako na roho yako na nguvu zako zote haikuwa anamaanisha kwamba sasa you will forsake all because as many as they are now number one it's a relationship I just want to put it because I cannot read all of them but I just want to read them in the relationship with God which the Bible gives a command that obey the Lord thy God with all thy heart with all thy, thy, thy mind with all thy strength that is in, when you start from Exodus chapter number 20 and verses number 2 it talks deeply concerning the relationship with God. How? So the 613 are the laws. The do's and the don'ts. They were broken down. In the constitution there is what they call the preamble. So after that then you start breaking them down bit by bit, bit by bit and then you come to understand what is it. Now for example, we have the law concerning the temple and the priest. What guides them? For example, the way the lawyers, the bankers like you, the businessmen like Kinderangu, the civil servants like Kinderusha, who are guided in their place of work. God had very express instruction concerning how the behaviors, behaviors, for example, Steve, can you read for us there? And now to read the Bible, for example, can you refer to Leviticus chapter number 19, verse number 20, on the respect of the temple, that is a sanctuary. Respect. How to respect it? How to do it? Among the many. Uh, I hope. In the relationship about God, you see, in Deuteronomy chapter number 6, verse number 4, relationship with God. How you relate with God. Exodus chapter 20, verse number 2. That's how to lead with God. Fear of God. 
Leviticus chapter number 19 verses number 30. Yeah, 1930. Edo dikona Biblia Kiswahili. Eh usome hiyo. Maana kilofa yasoma. Patie Mike Clofas. Asome. Leviticus 19:30 says, mm-hmm. Keep my Sabbath laws. Mhm and reverence my tabernacle mm-hmm. for I am the lord mm-hmm. proceed that one say um, yeah do not defile yourselves by consulting mediums and wizards for so, i am jehovah your god you see now the way you relate with god yani mungu anasema usiende kwa waganga na misimu kwa ajili ya ufumbushi leo hii tukiongea katika ukristo wa kiafrika wengi katika afrika for example people go to the temple they say the rules concerning going to the temple you must be very careful that you don't consult which doctors amen now keep it in the secular not even the secular people are in church but they have kept it faithful to themselves that nobody misses to a witch when you are yani mpaka walileta msema anasema usipojisaidia na Mungu awezi kufanya nini? Ai, awezi kufanya nini? Now, the same Leviticus chapter number 4, that chapter 18, sorry Steve, so my verse number 4. 184. Leviticus the same just Leviticus where you read concerning how we should guard the sanctuary. So that's the temple. I just want to give very quickly run over, but in the long run tutakuwa na muda mrefu wa kutosha ambao tutakuwa na wakati wa kuwa tunafundishana mpaka mtu elewe how to must... do Leviticus 18:4 no, eh, 18:4 yeah you must obey only my laws uh-huh. and you must carry them out in detail uh, only my laws only what my laws god says only my laws unajua kuna sheria zako eh, jerusha kwa mfano si ni kweli si unajua kuna sheria Naturally kila mtu akona tabia zake ama sheria zake hata kwa nyumba yake anasema mimi weekend siamuki mape Si ni kawaida Kama vile ndio langu tukimaliza ibada ya anasema mimi sikai kwa ibada ya pili lazima niende kazi Lakini kulingana na dini zingine uwezi kufanya kazi siku ya sabato na maandiko yanasema kwamba usipange safari ya kwenda siku ya kuabudu Si ni wangapi wanapangaka safari siku ya kuabudu how many for example how many plan jobs on the same now the last one i want to give is concerning the temple it is in the leviticus chapter number 66 still where by leviticus the same leviticus where you are chapter 6 verse 6 leviticus His guilt overing shall be a ram without defect and must be worth whatever value you demand he shall bring it to the priest and the priest shall make atonement for him before the lord and they shall be forgiven amen in other words you may not give money you may not you know for example even when you want to ask for forgiveness some first of all ndirangu you are a sacrifice to yourself Paul says in Romans chapter number 12 verses number 1 he says give your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and Please talk to me loudly holy and do what before you give your body as a sacrifice it is very hard even to give a real sacrifice because whatever that you give and you are not giving from your heart you are giving from your head it can't touch you No there is also another rule concerning donation to the temple how you donate how you give offering sacrifices that people do give from the from the temple for example when you come for dedication in Israel at that time of course they say at the laws were done away with it ilikuwa naambia mtu mmoja nikawaambia the only people who behave like uh, Jews like Abraham like cuz Abraham when he died the first insistence was to be buried by his firstborn sons 
one from a, even a, this maid woman Hagal alikuwa na mtoto ambaye ndio wa kwanza that is Ishmael the, the other one a covenant woman huyu mama Sara na random le Jack nilirudi nilirudi hapa about Bible study Abraham alikuwa na watoto wangapi from the another woman from the second woman after Sarah died how many kids did he had how many sons mm. Derja Mbaka yake alinunua kitabu. Abraham alikuwa na watoto wangapi baada ya baada ya kitu baada ya nani? Baada ya Bidaya kwa ndoto nani? Si kitu si mkalenjin. Karona kama Abraham alikuwa mkalenjin. <laughs> I married uh, at what age? Zaki tuna shindaka hapa hivi na kuna kitu ndio nani jarusha mpaka ukaandika chini dadangu si ni kweli si uliandika about from barishepa abigail na maka bibi ya david alikuwa nani mwingine thank you yani jagidi kutoki uzuri ndio langu na furahi ya hiyo ili stick kwa kichwa cha jagidi Ama ni kwa sababu ni alimuua kwa sababu ya dance the way she was eh yeah? <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana So every time every time you must you must also call, call, you, you must understand kwa mfano kama stiff wakifanya case cotton even animal rights siku na mtu anakuja na explain about animals in the bible is factored all round how you relate how you do even how you eat them i just want to give a, 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 even a, even the slaughter that's what now islam wao wanaish on the laws they are not living in the in the in the in the in the grace period now grace is not subject for abuse so the problem with the pentecostal they abuse the grace they say the laws was a burden yes They ask very question did Jesus came to scrap the laws what did Jesus answer Jack from your common knowledge that Jesus what did he answer back he came to, yeah? came to, 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 to overhaul the constitution 613 laws to throw them out yeah. so he reinstated them or So in other words we should not we should not uh, we should not uh, imagine ya kwamba we ignore them because the bible says don't see the nakedness of your mother and your father even in tradition or even among our communities where we come from is it right or wrong eh Hata zamani kule kwetu nilikuwa naambia mko wangu siku moja akaambia nikaambia mpaka king akaambia siku na unatairi usiingie kwa hii bedroom ni sheria kwa hiyo tumetoka I'm not talking about grace. Ama wakikui bigizo unasema hakuna shida, hakuna baba. Ile the said me was asking him, when you find your father, your biological father, and a kuhag. Ama yo anything? I'm gamuliza my mother in law, the mother of my wife. Ni mushike hivi sasa niko. Mami sasa. We were with my wife in another wedding to Lisimamia. A son in law to memoriza Arusi. Wanashikana wana wanaagiana mother in law. Tena wanapangusana mgongo hivi hivi. Kaambia my wife, oh, I've seen the devil before I go her back to Nakuru. You know. I may look like a villager a tradition but now it is biblical. Is what? Natural justice for any other human because the devil 
who take advantage. Am I right? Because what does the Bible say is when Reuben went in bed with his father's wife, this father's wife is not factored because it's not Rachel, neither Leah. Reuben was a firstborn for Jacob. But the Bible says he went to bed. That means Baba Yaka alikuwa na tustana tuwa pemben. Because every time alikuwa naoa, in Israel wakati unawa unapewa na maid. Na hiyo maid unakikija kwamba hata olewa kuingini, hata endelea na wewe, na hata za. That's why the sons of Jacob, Dan, Isaac, Isaac, Naphtal, all these ones were all the sons of maids. But when they accounted, when Isaac was one of Jacob, kumi na mbili. Now the Bible says Reuben went to bed. The same thing that Absalom did to his father David. He called his friends Zasita Nanus, and he went to bed with his father's wives. And David heard of it. We imagine about that generation. But never see face that. Eh? And uh, you know what? Why it was cursed? Because God told him already when he was cursing him, said, "David, I have forgiven you because you have killed Uriah, taken the wife, but now the sword." In other words, the persecution said, "You did it in secret, but I'll make sure in public it will be seen." So the man sowed the seed that came to manifest through his children. Now, when the Bible talks about refraining, don't see the nakedness of your father. Ndiyo pipi bidi na sema kwamba, ata wale walio watu wote wanao ingia kwa madhabauni. When you go to the altar, make sure you don't make big stairs, lest that your nakedness is seen. It's evil. Bwana Yesu nisifuwe sana. Hey, Bwana Yesu nisifuwe. The Bible was very clear when you are going to war. If you are going, for example, you are going to war, Anytime you are going to war, you must be very strictly that if you are not married, stay home fast. 365 days before you go. So the Bible is clear in all, especially about when it talks about uh, social, the Bible is even talks about social life. How you relate socially. How you relate uh, socially. How you give. Number 15 verses number 8. giving out and also those ones who are who are kuna watu ambao wanafanyisha watu wa biashara kanisani wanachukua interest nyingi nyingi wanakuja kufanyisha watu kama wale walikuja wa desi jaki ulikuliwa na desi <laughs> verses number 8 alafu Jack so make so that's 22 verses number 24 how I, 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 even when you you defer, that's why when people even move to court to stop some things unaona kama ni ni ni, ni mbaya mm -hmm. says mm -hmm. but if when you arrive in the land mm -hmm. the lord will give you there are many there are any among you who are poor mm -hmm. You must not shut your heart mm. or hand against them. So that, imagine you that's must the, lend them uh, as much as they need. <laughs> you must do what? The injustice in our country and how you can control people is by mistreating them. As you go to the land, you are blessed. You are done what? I said you are done what? It is called social life. The laws that there are many now, but we are talking about one of them. Because if you want to cap it, Jack, Jack, Exodus chapter number 22. 22? 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 24. Yes. My anger will be aroused, eh. and I will kill you with the sword. Mm. Your wives will become widows and their children fatherless. Are you still reading Exodus 22, 24? 22, 24. Are you there? Jebus so much still. 
Exodus ndio kutoka. I shall flame out mm-hmm. against you mm-hmm. and I will kill you with, en- with enemy armies mm-hmm. so that your wives will be widows mm-hmm. and your children fatherless. Mm-hmm. Proceed. If you lend money to a needy fellow, uh-huh. April, uh-huh. you are not to handle the transaction in an ordinary way mm-hmm. with interest. Mm-hmm. If you take his clothing as a pledge of his requirement, mm-hmm. you must let it him. You must let him have it back at night for it is probably is only warmth how can he sleep without it asawache hapo if you don't return okay wale watu wanachukuanga vitu za watu kama nini inaweza kama collateral unajua hivi sunula biblia inasema ukinyanganya mjane unyanganye na ma, na, na mayatima na mimi Mungu nitakuja nitaua unasikia mimi nasema nitakuua na wewe mume wako atafanya nini? Yaani atakufa na wewe baki kuwa watoto wako na mke wako watabaki wajane na mayatima. Na ukiona walio maskini na umewakopesha na una uwezo. Because we are not encouraging uh, at 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 uh, in the communism mama nini? Lakini true Christianity True Christianity ni kwamba when you see a need and you don't do it and you have ability you are cast. That the Bible says when you close your eyes on the poor you close your eyes. I say you close your eyes to the what? And that's why unaona kwani unaona wahindi wanangangananga hapa tao ni kuendelea kulisha watu kila siku everywhere they call them in the, how do you call them philanthropists is what what? Eh yeah. How many people who are rich in the name of Christians even when they walk in a church and they are rich people are poor they cannot even afford the food but still in the, that's what the bible says if you lend a person jack you ngesoma yako na na nani don't if you, if, if you lend money to eh. one of my people eh. among you eh. who is needy eh. do not treat it like a business deal eh. charge no interest kwanza wale wa Shylock Shylock kwanza wameweka watu wamefirisika vibaya hakuna watu wametesa dunia hii ya watu kama watu wanatoka Shylock anakuja anachukua simu ya huyu anasema nilikuwa ninaenda Kisumu nimekosa fare ya 200 so asika hii simu ni zaidi ya shilingi 1040 now you take it for a th- uh, it's okay please nimesema nusu maana imezeeka I'm talking about the current value. I'm not talking about uh, market value. Somebody said amen. Si mzuri unajivuna na hisi. Nipige uja nipiga simu picha bana. Now imagine somebody gives goes to kumbuka. Do you know there's a time to kwa tumeenda that young man wewe kijana wetu Mboro tukaenda kuuza radio yake. Wakati yako na mashida mingi tukaenda pale Pioneer. Radio ya shilingi 60. Huyo mtu akatupatia 7000 na akasema within two weeks tusipoenda tulipoenda kutafuta hiyo redio tukapata aliuza zamani anasema redio hakuna elfu saba ameenda kuna watu hii town kuna mama hapa sahii analia ni ni bosi wa huyu dada ali ali alichukuliwa alafu kuna vigurupu vimekuja vinajifanya vya wakristo na niko hiyo that's why even in this church i will never allow anybody to stand here teach people now to get loans at wende kuna shailo kiko hapa kuna chama tumeanzisha inaitwa inaitwa nini kingdom multiplication group international no kwa leta tu microphone pasta moja akapeleka viombo aende viombo vya 1200 apewe 10000 walipe church rent kabla hajafika wiki imeisha viombo simeuzwa kumbe somebody was there wanapigaga hesabu kabla ule haja kuzi ndio maniko inasema utakmana mtu akija kwako jack and you have that ability that you can help help without expectation
also not only one of the interests because at the end of the day there are times you judge nobody will say that's why are the arabs is poor what happened must give and they, do, they take interests they don't take a single interest they are, or even you said the products of the in the bank are the same eh hey, in either sharia compliant are they poor paka mtu mmoja alisema kwamba the money they bank in world bank ile ya mafuta interest in the imf ina kopeshaka watu duniani and then they they sing you so the bible says when you lend to the one who is poor who is what so you see the bible has factored as that what it has factored everything that you do that don't take advantage sometimes you employ somebody and you underpay him when you have ability to pay kuna mama moja alikuwa huko akapata kwenye tunaishi kwa plotting huyo mama alikuwa maid zamani na akaangukiwa akaolewa na jamaa ako na tuela ako marekani huyo mama ni ruthless kwa wafanyikazi nikaambia you know i did not know mpaka hata ni last week ndio nilijua huyu dada alikuwa maid hapa milimani akaangukia jamaa mmoja mukisi ako marekani anataka kuoa akaacha hapo and they are building houses somewhere hapa kwa mwenye flat nini wako na nyumba captain huyo mama jesus christ made kwake awezi lipwa zaidi ya 1500 na ile kazi atafanya paka unaangalia kwa hivyo na ndio nikasema wale watu maskini wakipata opportunity vile wanadiri na maskini wenzao ni ruthless Kuna watu hapa hata katikati yetu Mungu ameweka cap ya limit anasema I cannot raise you beyond because ninajua nikikupatia opportunity even in Kenyan politics you have seen my brother mtu tu nimepata tu amekuwa counselor ni counselor ama ni mzee wa mita na kuna vijana walikuwa naye hapa wanakunywa uji I'm telling you the truth atawasumbua atawatesa mbaka sasa inaanza watu wanageuzaga maombi wanaanza prayer ni intercessor msema Mungu when are you bringing him down utamteremsha Mungu lini tukuje tutoshania hapa and when you have an opportunity sema you have an opportunity sema when you have an opportunity hey, please sema an opportunity Mungu amefactor ini mpaka hata wakati unafanya harvest unafanya nini when you are doing an harvest when you are doing an harvest you should not harvest everything kama harvest ni kumaanisha unajua ukikula ukikula unaona yule mtu anakula maskini unajua kama ile miaka ya zamani watu walikuwa wanakula kwenu chakula ni kidogo mnakula mpaka mtu mtoto analamba sahani yani sahani hata iendi kuoshwa unajua hivyo ai ama kwenu iko kuaga hiyo Kwa hiyo Jackie unaongea hapa town. Kuna watu my brother wako njaa vibaya sana. Hujaiona. Kuna watu wako njaa uwezi amini, unafikiria tu wote ni matajiri. Watu wako njaa ukistembea kidogo. And that's why the devil has made sure ya kwamba he keeps on frustrating. Wewe unaonaga kwa mfano president wa Kenya anaweza lala njaa hata siku moja. He's looking for an appetite. Na hiyo ndio kitu mara nyingi most of the people do na wengine wana 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 wana, wana mistreat when they take advantage kama hiyo ya uh, for example one just went to on the Shylock you know Shylock Shylock is not a is not a good idea na urudia mara ya pili unajua Shylock is not a good idea even if it's done by a christian and i am yet to see a muslim doing Shylock kwa nini jerusha isha lo kini ya Kristo peke yake eh adi ebu mwereze jack <laughs> wale wanakopeshanga watu pesa pa month kwanza ni pa month sio many week eh jamaa mmoja yule jamaa tulienda kuchukua cheki kwa gas Steve wewe unakumbuka so remember that, that guy we went with it to take a check without knowing jamaa anakuja anaongea kikristo na wanaongea tena wanaomba wanashikaraka mikono wanaomba 
This guy alikuwa amejenga nyumba kama hiyo yako. Trust you me. Alipewa hiyo shelo kizuni milioni mbili. Kufunga macho hivi na kufungua so that business yake. Alifunga hivi ya kwanza akapata iko 10 million. 12 16 18 This guy hata kuna kipindi amekuwa kama wazim. As we are talking the house is built. They came and took it. Ule tulienda kuchukua cheki naye pale kwa roundabout. This is that boy. Ali ali uzwa ali uzwa na mwenye alimuuza kwanza huyo jamaa alikuwa anafanya kuna kipindi ameniambia sijai waambia hapa kanisa pastor bila kunua shamba tunataka kuje tu wewe ujiandikishe na sisi tukupatie pesa ya kujenga kanisa 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 hata ijengo miaka 20 we can never take a loan to be rich kwani tuko na haraka kuenda mingu bwana siwe sana hey bwana Yesu asifiwe Si kina Nicole watakuwa matajiri directors wa dunia wanakuja wasema this is a church of our father mbona inakaa matope matope hivi waweke pesa tena ba renovate kuwe kubwa ama ni aje Aka huyo jamaa vile tunaongea naye my brother he got depression he got sick he got what nini alikuwa anaenda sasa hivi ameenda 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 bila kujua tu ameenda ameenda kila mahali kumbe wale wali mwenjoy look at this and this When we talk about also in agriculture God was factoring on the same look at the Leviticus 23 22 please can you read for me We saw me pay God sorry I don't know that I have been sorry Leviticus ndio mhubiri na inaitwa mhubiri Oh wala we sorry Leviticus chapter number 23 22 nasema nanyi hapo mtakapovuna mavuno ya nchi yenu mm-hmm. usivune kabisa kabisa pembe za shamba lako uh-huh. wala msiyakusanye masazo ya mavuno yako uh-huh. utayaacha kwa ajili ya huyo maskini na mgeni kwa ajili ya nani maskini aise kwa nini hata kwako saa nyingine ukipika chakula ugali wacha kupika ugali ya glass moja ati yeye wewe na bibi pika tu pika hata kama itabaki hata at least hata ukipea umbo itakuwa na ushuhuda unani hiyo inasema de yako kuna watu ambao hata hii tabia tuliletewa ya kizungu kukatakata ugali kwa meza ati ni usafi hiyo ni uchoyo si ati usafi hiyo ni hiyo hiyo ni uchoyo Steve si ati wewe siku ile ni grow When you grow up when you were a young boy mlikuwa mnakatiwa kwa ugali huko nyumbani mboga ilikuwa sa community mnakula kuna siku moja nakumbuka tulikuwa tunakula na my brother tumejaa hivi hivi nikaona wao wanakula zaidi kuniriko because njoo mkono wangu ni kidogo na wale ni mkubwa kubwa na ugali inachoma tunajua ile njaa ya zamani watu wanaingishaka mkono kwa ugali speed speed sasa wanakata kwa bidii hivi ndio nika introduce hiyo tabia kwetu kasema mama wangu nika Hakuna mahali tulikuwa tunakewa nikamwambia mama nimechitolea nitabeba mboga kwa mkono na ugali yangu itakuwa kando ndio ni kule on my base. Unajua kuna watu mnaenda kula nao you don't eat on your base. Mnaenda lakini zamani hata wa mama majirani walikuwa ukipata mtoto wa mwingine analia mama anachukua ananyonyesha mama akiwa sokoni ama leo unaweza jaribu. Please. Mama Lilia ni nimesema uongo. Si ni kweli? Unakuta mtoto analia Mama yake alienda sokoni uliza kwa wapi na walizaliwa the same time. Leo uzungu imekuja. Hata watoto ku mix. Nasema huyu anaambukiza watoto wangu nini? Chicken box. Chicken box. Eh, chicken box kama ile ya king. Anakuwa quarantine ama kuram. Hebu somae. What does the Bible say? When you reap your harvest, mm. you must not Thoroughly reap the corners, all the corners of the fields. <laughs> Nor pick up all the foreign grain. Eh. Leave it for the poor, and for foreigners living among who, eh. who have no land of their own. Thank you. For, for I am Jehovah your God. Yani wakati Mungu amesha kubariki. Umeiona kuna watu wanakuaga extremely strict. They are very what? I said they are stingy. Yaani hivi ukaingia kwa nyumba yao mama Lydia ukute wanakula. Mama anageuza sura na uliza na huyo mtu. Ako appointment alikuja hapa namna gani? Zamani watu walikuwa na join ugali, unakuta mna join ugali hata jaoga anasema 
Arab, that's why you see at our levy, they are very generous. Nikwe? Tafadhali tuongee kwa kweli kuharibu kumaliza. Walevi they are very generous. Ndrangu wewe ndio ulikuwa unatufundisha zamani, si kweli? Walevi hawawekangi nyama kwa sahani. Nyama inaikoa wapi? Kwa mbao. Tena hata wana kuinvite wanasema, "Ah, onja bwana ukienda kutafuta yako." Lakini hakuna mtu mchoyo kama Mkristo ukifika kwa hoteli umkute bahati mbaya anakula. Bwana asiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Haleluya brother. Hiyo ninakwambia ushuhuda yenu. <laughs> Kuna ndugu mmoja niliwahi kukuta siku moja kwa hoteli, jamaa alichange countenance. Then at hotel ya maana, hii hotel iko hapa, hii yenye usoma kanyama achoma hapa, kwa hiyo kobiri hapo mbele hii inaitwa jika kitu. Siona hapa karibu na hosea chini, hii karibu na KCB iko hapa. Kuna ka kitu ka kwa hapa ka register the fast food una kobeli hapa kwa hii nini Nikaenda na mimi nilikuwa ninaenda kuchezea nyama ni ni so karobo tu ni so na ugali ni so ama ni so 20 sijui lakini hata nilikuwa na so yangu na 20 zao nilikuwa naenda kuzitetea peke yake Nikakuta ndugu nimemuona naona namjua eh bwana asiwe bwana asiwe sana Eh mbali mzuri sana msumzo Sasa hivi ameosha mikono anaendelea kufanya hivi. Sijejiunga na hii boss. I'm going on my own. Waislamu na we are not glorifying them. Unaona bilau ile tunaendaa kukula pale jamii inaitwa Arosto. Unaona inawekwa kwa simia kubwa na unaona mtu ametoka kwa choo na unajua the way they go to the toilet they don't use tissue. Unaona vile umekunja uso siju kama ungekuwa muislamu ungesurvive and you know ni rare sana kusikia ugonjwa wa korera kwa waislamu korera inakuwa ngapi <laughs> eh watoto wanakojoka kwa masufuria hata kwa Somalia mama anapika hiyo sukuma na nini wacha kuniangalia hivi na bidii stifu they are getting surprised wanaingishaga jaki mikono tu enda hapo kwa jamia hii ya hapa juu uone vile wanakulaga and they are eating with a lot of fun hey, baba nini mkristo vichiko tena ukule ukitaka kama zamani tukitaka kuona zamani unajua tulikuwa wadogo ukiona kama ndugu yako anakusumbua na anataka kukula hiyo mboga yako haraka haraka unachukua mate yako unatema ndani sio hapa the dimension Hakuna mwenye alifanyaga hiyo zamani mimi nilikuwa nafanya hivi. Nikiona wananisumbua kuniomba omba. Wacha kucheka bwana. Ndio avoid kuomba ombwa. Ni Ukristo waacha na kwanza waacha. Ni Ukristo brother, ni Ukristo hapana kwani waislamu hata mjaluo akiwa muislamu mkisia akiwa muislamu ana adopt the same character my friend hata mw, kwanza masai ndiye alikuwa muislamu juzi nimeona akitangaza hapa anaitwa kaole dado dado mwalimu katibu wa zubuki no aole dado wacha mkamwaro kuna mwingine eh? waislamu sasa ukitaka mtu asikuombe unatema mate ndani ndio akupunguzie kukuzumbu hata hii mtu mko pamoja ah tuko mko pamoja wapi mko pamoja wapi mtu unapanda gari unapanda gari ya mtu ukishaingia ndani wewe una gari umewapatia lift Ukiona mtu anaka unajua most of the time anaka unakaa kwa gari unakaa ni kama hata kama ulikuwa unashukia 58 ukiona amepiga brake hata kama hapa gate house unasema hakuna shida hakuna hata ninaonyesha hakuna problem naweza enda tu na bado wewe mwenyewe unaenda kwanza Nairobi ama unaenda steps hakuna shida ama unakaa kwa gari ni kama una, una, ni kama unakula space because gari itaumia ukiona amekuangalia hivi vile umekalia hiyo gari yake unasema hapana nimefanya makosa Christianity let me tell you if it is not the proper research ambao mtu ulifanya ukajua kwamba Yesu alikufa na akavufuka atarudi tena 
who said that alisema ni maana ni ganda ama nani alisema kwamba christianity was the is the best religion but the one who practice eh 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 if they if they prof yan the practice five pass it is true jack it is very true because for example if a christian for example ukweli wa christ nikwambia huyu mwindi wa nini kikanja bali niambia akaniambia pastor usi 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 sumbukage wa kristo naonaga mimi nikienda kuomba na bibi yangu aliniambia nikienda maombi na bibi yangu ninawaachaga hapo wakipiga story ya ODM 